In this video, we'll cover creating a custom procedure, which can be done by either starting from scratch or editing one that already exists. So, to start from scratch, we'll add a procedure and give it a name. We'll assign it a medical device category that we're designing for. And you'll notice that there's already a section called test setup with several components within it, most of which are not relevant until runtime. Two that are relevant while editing is the electrical safety standard selection, choosing the one that is relevant to your organization will configure automatically some of the test components that we'll add later. Same goes for the medical device classification that we're designing for. In our case, maybe class two, here in the electrical safety settings component. There are also various settings for delays and halts. So, for example, if we wanted to add a delay after power on, that means after the electrical safety analyzer applies AC power to our asset that we're testing, we'll wait until this time elapses to continue with execution. This could give you time to turn on the asset if you need to. You can also choose to halt, which would override the, de the delay with a pop-up and you would need to click continue to proceed with the test. There's also an option for test optimization, which when enabled, reorders the sequence of, text, of test component execution for time savings. And generally it's good to keep this enabled. Now we can add our own test section here from the test library palette. We can give it a custom name and add to it perhaps a question that the technician can answer when running the test. If we add another section for electrical safety tests, then we can add electrical tests that the ESA can execute. One thing to note is if you plan on executing a test that requires applied parts, then you need to configure the applied parts setup using that component. This can also be done at runtime to keep flexibility on a case-by-case -case basis. These posts indicate where the applied parts should be connected to the ESA. If you don't want them to be configurable at runtime, then you can lock applied parts set up here. So with applied parts set up in our section, we can then add a test that uses applied parts. So that's really all you need to know. I mean, there's plenty more, but that's the fundamentals. So we'll save our procedure. And then we can, of course, link it to an asset that we might want to run. I don't have any infusion devices currently added to my list, so I will skip that. If you want to edit a pre-existing procedure, we recommend duplicating a pre-existing one and the process is the same after that. 